Hey, this is Anthony from Episode TV. You can watch, decide, and ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Speed and Strength SS 1600 helmet, available at Revzilla.com. This is the new SS 1600. It came along and it said, SS 1500, we're gonna tie you to a tree and we're gonna bash you with a shovel because we're awesome. Have a peek at it. You're sub $200 starting right out of the gates with this bad boy and it's aggressive, it's nasty, and it really follows an angular line that we haven't seen in very many flavors in the helmet market. Now, you are getting polycarb. It's a completely redesigned helmet. You're gonna have the drop down sun visor system and again, very, very sport oriented. For this year, we saw the new SS 1400, which is going to be Snell rated and try composite, a little bit of a different flavor. Plays in the same pool, but isn't such a statement piece. This bad boy, and again, this is the cruise missile graphic, which comes in a couple flavors. Definitely different graphics available. Definitely going to be solids at some point we see from Speed and Strength. Just a complete redesign. And if we really look at it, again, super, super aggressive. Now, now that you know what they've changed, which is really just starting from the bolts and working your way back up, let's quickly note fitment as we dive into the rest of the features. Fitment on this bad, bad boy is going to be intermediate round. That's right, I said round. You don't hear me say it a lot, meaning that it's going to be very oval in its shape. It's going to have a lot of room on the sides. Think of Arai RXQ, think some of the HJCs we see in the past. Again, intermediate oval is what we typically see for the American market. A little bit longer front to back, but in a rounder shape, it's not gonna fit everybody. You guys are gonna know when you're around head shape, so keep that in mind. Remember, if you'd wanna try it out, we ship for free over 39 bucks. We're gonna make it painless on you, but keep that in mind, it is a different shape than what you mostly see. As always, too, as I work my way through this bad boy here on the SS1600, click right here, subscribe to us at Revzilla TV on our YouTube's channel. Yeah, I'll pluralize it, I do what I want. And leave me your comments, your questions, and your feedback on the six. 1600. Now, diving back in, let's start from the outside and work our way in. Remember, polycarb shell, three pounds, nine ounces. Polycarb is not as exotic as fiberglass or some of the other resins we see. It carries a little more weight with it, but I think that they came in at the three pound, nine ounce mark, which I'm actually pretty happy, just over the three and a half pound mark. Now, if we look at the vent scheme on the front here, you're going to see a big chin vent. We went out and rode with it. We love the airflow we got from this chin vent. It's aggressive, it's nasty, and it ties in. You can see it on this. The cruise missile graphic is absolutely great. Ah, and they got the Revzilla orange. Moving up into the chimneys. Two chimneys on the top, we found that they did not perform as well as the chin. That's okay. Again, you're looking around that $200 mark. It wasn't break the bank type of performance, but again, we'd love to see them flow a little more air in the future. As I rotate this bad boy around, getting another shot of this big sweeping angular attack. Reminds me of some of the aggressive dirt helmets we've actually seen on the market here as it sweeps to the back here. Almost looks like a goggle ridge. See two big sweeping Venturi vents that are integrated into the back profile. Again, great aerodynamic profile. Again, we went out and rode this in sports scenarios, three-quarter scenarios, and we found that really didn't whistle. It was a, a helmet that had some wind noise to it. Again, not engineered to be lack of wind noise, but again, nothing getting in the way. The aerodynamic profile worked for us. And if you can see how it sweeps in down here along the bottom, again, nice big ridges. You have these little winglets. Again, a little bit of extra extraction going on. Remember, that speed coming, the air coming over the top is going to suck the warm, moist air out of the helmet away from your head, keeping you comfortable, keeping you cool. Now, if we swing around to the front, remember, speed and strength. It's a UV resistant polycarb anti-scratch shield. Again, basic here in its construction. It's a new style visor release mechanism. You can see it on the front. Watch my finger here. I'm gonna pull this bad boy down, pops off from the side just like that. And if I put it back on the front, I snap it in and I'm good to go. Again, you can get dark smoke. You can work with this. It's got a nice big gasket sealing around the outside that's gonna give you a good amount of protection from mother nature. And if I look down here, my breath guard is removable as well. So I can pull that bad boy out. Some guys like breath guards, some guys don't. Some gals too are wearing this helmet. I don't wanna be sexist. Now, if I move it around to the front, you're gonna see my big gaping viewport. Again, that's a good thing. And if I click down right here, actually they moved it to the side here, I'm gonna drop down my DVD system. The drop visor design, anti-scratch, anti-fog. Again, redesigned for this year, the way that they're producing it. Nice, good coverage, nice solid line across. It's nice that you don't have to get that dark smoke shield if you don't wanna get that dark smoke shield. Again, rock solid in its construction. A lot of bang for the buck going on here. Now, if we look on the side, this is a locking mechanism right here on the side that you're gonna see. That's gonna integrate with your front, your, your face shield here. Again, you'll be good to go. Now, if I turn it on its side, I'm gonna tell you that I'm special and I got this right off the line, and they're actually making a rolling change. The model that you're gonna buy from Revzilla.com is gonna have double D-ring for the American market. It's not gonna be a ratchet strap, so keep that in mind. I'm calling that right out. And if we look at the bottom, everything's removable. You're gonna have a removable, washable interior that's gonna have a nice soft feel to it. There we go, I'm gonna remove my non-double D-ring. D -string. I'm gonna pull it out here. Notice the contour, and then it has some room for a speaker pocket here in the back. Again, they're being nice, 
and they're, they're being nice and forth, or, or forward looking here rather, that's the word I'm looking for, in the fact that they're giving you the ability to integrate an outside vendors or a third party communicator system. They're baking in some reflectivity down here in the neck roll. Again, they're stepping up their game. I'm gonna remove the other side, pull my strap through here, give me one second, and we can begin to expose the interior. Again, it's wicking, it's antimicrobial, it's a nice touch from speed and strength. Now, if I break into my guts, you're going to see my liner has a 3D element to it. It's going to, be ha it's going to have the appropriate cutaways to flow that air channeling to the top of your head. And my snaps are right down here along the bottom. And then what I'm also going to show you is that notice here up top, it's not connecting with snaps at the forehead. It's connecting with plastic at the brow, which I like, which means that it's not going to give you that pressure point that you might feel if you had two snaps up here along the forehead. And notice, nice, nice big comfort liner done in 3D material, and if we open it up to the back here, nice big padding along the back. So again, staying in line with really what I would consider table stakes at this point, it's what you would expect. Now if we open up the guts, this is where my nitpick came into place. You're gonna see small vent holes in it. So again, the chimney vents and the venturi vents are gonna be a little smaller than I was expecting. I would love to see them bake some ridges into that EPS. But again, nothing that's a complete deal breaker here from speed and strength. Again, in that 200, sub $200 range, there's a tremendous amount of bang for the buck. And I can only imagine this helmet with a, with a blacked out face shield as well as a matte black design is really gonna turn some heads when it goes full on fighter pilot top gun. So the next step in your journey is to click right here and read rider reviews about the new Speed and Strength SS1600 helmet. Remember, this is the cruise missile graphic. There are other graphics available. And this guy is gonna be a different flavor, but very equivalent to something like the SS1400, which happens to be Snell. This guy's just gonna be DOT and ECE. And remember, that other 1400 version doesn't have the drop-down visor system. Remember, we're gonna ship for free over 40 bucks because we make it easy. And if you wanna to talk to a gear geek and you wanna understand more about how that round oval head shape might work or not work for you, give us a shout. See us at RevZilla.com or 877-792-9455. Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown video. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.